everybody and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you're all doing well. We are just here taking another look at our water buffaloes that we put in last episode. Um, I don't think we have any babies on the way. No, nope, no babies in here. So talking of babies, let's just double check whether or not we have any. No, no more babies at the moment. But our pea horses are both expecting a baby now, which is really good and really exciting. And we have one of our Siamangs expecting an offspring. We also have one of our giant otters expecting an offspring as well. Okay, so we have a few captive births, so that's great. Let's quick trade those. And so that is all sorted. So what's happening over here? Siamang has been in the box for too long. Why is it in a box? Um, unbox animal. Oh, it's a little baby. Okay, well, that was a weird. Why are they, um, why were they in the box? What else have we got here? Oh, vet, vet research for our water buffalo. That's good. So everybody else is researched perfectly fine. There's a lot of litter going on over here. So again, there is a bin right here that our guests don't like using. So let's put one there. And maybe another one there. And let's have another one right next to this one here. Oh, look, I didn't fix the spelling of this one. They were all fixed. <laughs> um, oh, and our tapir has just matured or is going to mature. So our little stripy and spotty baby is just about to become an adult. So that is cool. Let's just speed up time. Oh, there you are, just happened. So we know what we need to do for this one. We need to go in and release this one to the wild. Really good genes again. Perfect, off they go. Okay, so for this particular episode, I do want to put in the Amur Leopard. And I think we're gonna probably use this space uh, because I would like to put maybe the Okapi and the Nal Lichwi and the Orcs possibly over this section and then we're going to be then moving into like the cats and the dogs area um so that is exciting now let's just double check to make sure that we are all good with everybody here we can upgrade some food qualities so that's all good so our wild buffalo we should be able to do that soon exhibits were all fine and everybody else is okay let's have a look on our staff oh we'll put in some educators as well so we're going to train our staff up and I do just need to double check the work zone for our vets and make sure that they include the exhibits because they do actually go and have a little look at them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, there we are. Um, because they do actually go and have a look at the exhibit animals to make sure that they're all okay. Let's go around and put in, oh, hold on a second, the pea horse has just had the baby. So let's go and find the baby. Is this the baby? Oh, there's the baby. Oh, look. Oh. It's so fluffy. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, it's going to be really good as well when we have another one. Look at his little tail. This mane, ah, oh, cute. So that is exciting. So I've never seen one. I've never seen a baby uh, pea horse before. When is the other one due? Let's call the keeper because you're hungry. Um, year thirty-four. Okay, so we've still got a little while there. So whilst we remember, let's go and put our baby pea horse on contraception. What were we going to do? Oh yeah, education. So we need to put in some education points to hopefully get a little bit more education for our guests. So I think we could probably put one there for the tapir. Let's have that on January. Now let's go over here to our Siamangs and let's put this one here. And for now, I'm going to put this on March because it does take educators quite a long time to walk 
to the next education points. So leaving about a month in between is normally pretty good. Uh, once we have enough educators, or maybe like two educators per talk point, uh, it, we won't necessarily need to worry too much about the dates. Um, okay, so let's maybe, let's put this one here. And this one is going to be for our water buff plays. And we're going to put this one on May. And we are going to put this one as July. And then we also need one all the way over here for our horses. Look at them all eating. How cute. A little family. Um, okay, I am thinking we put it just here right on the bend. So we have to select our pea horse. Just like that. And I am thinking September. That's given us a good amount to work with. So now what we do need to do is we need to come over here and we need to grab our education stand or cover and go around and put them all in. So this is what it will hopefully look like. So we're just gonna cover this up. I've now placed all the education points so I just need to make a work zone. But I think it's looking okay so far. Educators, yeah, there's just nothing in it. So one there one there and we are going to need to put in some staff room access as well for these so there's that one there there and there so there's a staff room there that they can use uh, that's a toilet it's really hard to tell what is what in this view um, staff room there, staff room there, and staff room there, I believe. And I th think that is it. Cool, okay, so I think at the moment everything seems to be going okay. Um, we're alright for staff wise, I think. Oh, I said we're alright for staff wise, but we don't actually have any edu uh, educators, so let's put some in. So we need um, one, two, three, or five how many habitats do we have one two three four five yeah five and then we're gonna have one for the leopard and then i might get one more just to cover breaks so that should be good so we're gonna select all of our educators and we're gonna put them in the educators work zone cool okay what's this one here oh some more research has been done so our water buffalo is almost done so that is great we can put our um research on to the emerald leopard when we get it um i will decorate this at some point make it a little bit nicer um yeah it's just looking a little bit bare over here really um if you have any suggestions on like decorations and stuff like that then please do let me know your comments and ideas are always greatly appreciated um i have missed actually a path here so let me just go in and change this path so let's have a look at our influence per item for our education. So we're getting a lot from conservation boards. We're not really getting anything from education boards though, which is a shame. Educational speakers, audio guides and no talks. Okay, I wonder why we're not getting anything from our education boards. That's a little bit worrying. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to, to view them just because they're facing this direction i'm not sure uh, can someone just let me know um is there a reason why they're not the guests aren't getting educated by our education panels or education boards um is there something that i've done wrong or is there something i need to change please let me know it will be greatly appreciated oh, we have a visiting player so we're going to say hello to them and we're going to get 20 conservation credits perfect okay now let's have a look oops at this area here now this is where i'm thinking we're going to put the leopard because further down here i would really like to have a restaurant that's kind of up high and overlooking the zoo i did just notice that we are due to have an african uh, an african buffalo no a water buffalo offspring so that's good oh look at the little family run little family out of the rain what you had an umbrella in your pocket that whole time and you decided to run down the park because it was raining 
Okay, so here we go. So they are critically endangered. Now there's a few animals that aren't necessarily endangered, but they do fall into the critically endangered category. So we're gonna put them in our zoo anyway. Okay, so they don't really don't need a lot of space. They do need some climbing and three meters high. So one male and one female. Um, they are neutral with humans, but obviously they cannot enter the habitat. Okay, and then the number of offspring per mating event is one to three. Oh, it tells you all about like the world records and everything as well. How cool is that? Okay, so we need to go and have a look. So one, two uh, adults, one, two, three juveniles. We're spending some credits. Now, they don't really have a high fertility. This one's not too bad, but it is quite old but that is the best that we've got so far do we get this one or do we risk a refresh that's really hard to say <laughs> um i am thinking maybe let's risk a refresh okay so this one is the best at the moment it's the youngest of the three males and the fertility is not too bad so i'm gonna get this male now the female I'm quite reluctant to get because the fertility is really not that good. Longevity and immunity is fine. The size is okay, I think, but the age that she is and the fertility is not great. Um, so I'm going to see if there's any other females. Ah, okay, so you can get uh, the black leopards as well, which is quite cool. Okay, so we have some black female leopards, but their fertility is really not great at all. Really expensive though. Okay, right, I've been sat here for around about three, four minutes now, just refreshing, and nothing else is coming through. So I think we're gonna have to get this one. Okay, so I'm going to put the leopards into the conservation, conservation? quarantine area i'm never gonna get gonna get that word right am i so they are in there getting checked up so let's put in a nice habitat for them i am going to put in another staff area so it might just be a fact that i copy this one over and we will go from there
right everybody we have now finished our Amur leopard habitat so we have two and uh, two in here I should say one male and one female and they're just beautiful aren't they let me just get a good old look oh oh dear okay <laughs> all right it's just gonna jump okay that was really high actually yeah this is the habitat so I do hope you like it but there's lots to cut oh my wow <laughs> they don't have jump high did you see that um anti-climbable fences now i know this isn't the most practical of fences but i'm hoping that oh look see there was one teenager there that just stuck their hand right through the fence so i'm thinking we are probably going to need to change this for something else because we all know that the kids are gonna shove their hands through here we are so here is the habitat let me zoom out so we can see so we just have oh actually do you know what let's just wait for the rain to stop okay now that the rain has stopped you can see the habitat here so oh, are you joking it's back again hang on okay i think it stopped this time so again this is the habitat so we have a nice bit of river running through there just so they can kind of jump in and out of uh, we've got their food and we, and we have a few little kind of climbing structures now this one here is normally for the cyan mounts but it is on the leopards habitat things like things habitat things i guess um so i put it in i we'll see if they use they use it but i'm not sure um but the habitat that they have in real life is very leafy very woody and hilly and rocky so i tried to kind of imitate that in this particular habitat now they really do like the snow so because it does snow in this particular um biome that we don't need to worry too much about them getting too cold and yeah so i've just kind of played a little bit with the different levels of terrain as well and we've got some more kind of climbing over here so nice and big habitat for them to run around in trees and logs everywhere now what i did do is i hid in some ambient sounds in here as well of some like little rainforests um you know hopefully it might make, make them feel a little bit at home and now oh look there's one we go through here oh look and the guests can have a nice good look i kind of oh i did the artwork as well for the kids to have a look at now the door that i had to put in yeah, the sliding doors you can't see from over here um but i thought it's not big enough for this particular entrance so we're making believe that it is a rolling door so it just they put the switch here and it rolls down and then they flick the switch and it rolls back up so this is inside to the habitat so the guests can come in and have a little look here into the window and we have their bedding area then we've got a little bit of climb in here as well i put some little tassels uh, on the edge so i thought if they're lying down or they can bat at it if they wanted to they, they won't use it it's just a form for kind of like decoration in here i put in a little kind of scratch post in for them at the end of their water trough oh it's just gone dark and they've got kind of a little hose pipe as well so it can fill up the water there and the um, keeper can kind of wash out that. i really do like this one it's kind of foresty like a minimal forest as much as we can do because they um they do like a lot of greenery but not as much as i thought they would actually yeah so that'll be good to see what kind of offspring that we have i think um it's three isn't it that they can have so you never know we might see some soon are we gonna see oh oh they just mate. they're just mating nope okay no, that's fine. Oh dear, what's happening? Stress? Stressed and trying to hide. Oh no. Oh, mechanic to sort out these barriers. Oh, look at that, look. Sat there, leisurely chilling on the rock. Look, how cute. Yeah, so I really do hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, I am hoping now that once we've done the bulk of the building and everything, we can concentrate and put more animals in. So I'm slowly expanding each way um so you never know what direction we're going to go in next episode but it should be good either way let me know if you have any thoughts and comments and suggestions and feedback on anything i might have missed or you think we should put in i uh, really enjoy reading through all of your comments and your ideas into the zoo as well so please do let me know what you think 
it is greatly appreciated and i will catch you in the next episode thank you so much for watching bye bye